Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So we are doing a Christmas Bath and Body Works haul today. I finally got my hands on the Christmas body care. They are putting it out in stores officially. I believe Monday is when they kind of start trickling it in. It's probably going to be online as well. And this will be like the first round. So our first round we kind of have the Christmas tradition sense. I know they've been putting Christmas candles out what seems like almost a month now. But yeah, the body care is coming. There is going to be a couple collections. And we're also going to be going over some sneak peeks of what's to come because I am very excited about some new releases coming. So let's go ahead and get started. So I picked up three of the Holiday Traditions body care here. Let's start with the classics. We do have Vanilla Bean Noel. Now I know Vanilla Bean Noel has been kind of not great as of lately. It hasn't been what it used to be but I actually think this one smells really good. This one has notes of fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, sugar cookies, whipped cream, and snow kissed musk. Is that what it's always said? Has it always said sugar cookies? Maybe it has and I just don't remember it being that long, but this Vanilla Bean Noel to me smells really good. I know other times it's had this almost burnt plastic type of smell, but I feel like they actually did it right this year. And it smells amazing to me. So I really get a lot of the vanilla, the caramel in here. It's not quite as strong as my really good 2019 version, but it's getting there. It's getting better for sure. And I think later this is going to smell really good. So I still need to try the cream, but the spray I think it actually is worth picking up. And if you don't like the cream, you can always pair this with the EOS uh, the warm cashmere I think it's called those smell so good together But yeah, I really do think that vanilla bean noel smells so good this year Let me know if you guys have smelled it and what your thoughts are, but I think it's definitely getting better It's definitely stronger than last year's. I know other times it like barely had a scent, but it's definitely improving I know a lot of you guys were gonna ask about the price on these because these are like faceted now They are $17.95, so I don't think you can use rewards on these. Now, I also picked up Twisted Peppermint. I just really liked the packaging this year, so I did grab the lotion in this one. I think they did a good job on that. This has cool peppermint, sugared snow, fresh balsam, and vanilla buttercream. Again, have I just not bought these since in a while, but I don't remember this having fresh balsam in it. Am I growing crazy? Maybe I am. <laughs> I have to check some other ones. But yeah, I really haven't bought these for a while. So that could be it. But I mean, it smells like Twisted Peppermint to me. The cream doesn't have as much of like the vanilla sweetness, but it does smell really good. And again, the hot pink packaging with the cute little sparkly peppermints on it. I mean, that is just too cute. Now, it seems like every year they bring a new holiday tradition scent, which doesn't really make sense since they're the traditions. Those are the ones that come back every year. But this year's new one is called Golden Berry Mistletoe. And I was so curious as to what this was going to smell like, if I was going to like it, because I don't really like berry scents that much. And last time we had a mistletoe scent was like the snake sleigh ride and snuggles I think and I wasn't like a huge fan of that one but this has notes of sparkling berries sugared spruce and frosted air and this is interesting I kind of like it I'm not in love but it's it's actually a nice scent and I feel like it's pretty strong in the mist it truly smells like a Christmas wreath <laughs> it smells like holly like berries and I do smell a little bit of the spruce it's not overpowering it's not going to smell like the winter candle or anything like that but I get a hint of it in there and it smells really good this one I feel really captures the essence of the holidays it really smells like Christmas time without being too much and I think a lot of people are gonna like it especially if you guys do like more fruity berry scents because it is more of the fruity category but I'm surprised I like this one I think it's good not one I would stock up on by any means, but I like it. Let me know your thoughts on this one too. Again, this one's $17.95. I did pick up some more body creams and some Christmas scents. There's lots of collections going on here, and I did like a little preview video going over everything coming out, if you guys saw that. But they have this like cute forest collection, it's like Enchanted Forest a little bit, with some of our favorites returning. So I wanted to get some body creams, since these I do use up quite fast. So I wanted to grab another Strawberry Snowflakes, plus I think the packaging is so cute on this one it has a little pink squirrel on it so adorable I didn't like the mist packaging as much because it just didn't have a cute picture it was like a frosted kind of 
bottle um but yeah i love this scent so much i know a lot of you guys are so excited for this to be back so i think this will be out on monday as well the strawberry snowflakes they came out with this one first last year and this packaging is definitely cuter than last year's this has notes of juicy strawberry whipped cream and iced bergamot if you like more gourmand scents more of a sweet strawberry this is so pretty i pair this all the time with killian's love don't be shy it's the perfect pairing. It really has this icy vibe to it, which I always say when I'm talking about this one, but it really smells like an icy strawberry and it's so sweet and so delicious. It's not like pound cake vibes, but it's a definitely a sugary strawberry. So I love me some strawberry snowflakes. And then I also picked up Fairy Tale. Again, I could not resist the packaging on this one. I thought it was so cute. I love that this one has the little deer on it. And it goes perfect with this forest, like, woodlands theme. Fairy Tale uh, was out a couple years ago. Has it been? Has it been one or two? I think just two years now. Not last year, but the year before. They took it away and now they brought it back again. This is such a elegant scent. It has notes of pomegranate nectar, fresh orange blossom, vanilla bean, and warm amber. It smells just like it did before. And this is the perfect scent to go with YSL Libra perfume. It just has that distinct smell with the orange blossom and the warm florals that really are almost dupes for each other. So I had to grab that one as well. And then they have this collection with Dahlia coming back as well as You're the One and Dark Kiss. And it has this cute tufted um, design. I thought that was so adorable. I love the little tufted jeweled print on here. So I got Dahlia. I needed a new body cream so bad. Um, I was never able to get one when they discontinued it and I've been missing it in my collection because this is a lotion I like to pair with Caroline Herrera's Good Girl Perfume because those are again very warm florals and they pair really nice together. So this has notes of velvet Dahlia petals, crisp hair, praline musk, and whipped tonka bean. I wouldn't say it's a gourmand by any means. But it smells elegant, it smells sophisticated, and it's definitely more of those warm kind of floral scents. So if you're like, florals are a no for me, usually I don't like florals that much either if they're too powerful. But this is a nice like sweet one and I like the warm vibe that this one gives. So also got Dahlia. Now the scent I know you guys are wondering about. Technically this one's not going to be out on Monday. This will be out I think the following week. I could be wrong though like a week or two. But I had to try Jolly Gingerbread Village so I asked my store manager if I could just go ahead and purchase it early. And so she let me. She knows I do reviews on stuff so it's helpful and it brings people into the stores. But I wanted to try this. I really want to try this so bad just because there wasn't a lot of new scents in this Christmas lineup and I just wanted something new and exciting. And I know Bath & Body Works has done gingerbread before. They had like a gingerbread latte before. I think another one too. And honestly, I never bought those. And I know you guys were like, Leah, how did you not have those? I know, I know. I had a time even while I was still doing YouTube that I was not buying Bath & Body Works as much. Even though I have been making Bath & Body Works videos since like 2010, very long time, I had a point where I had more of a break because I had so much body care and it wasn't really what I was focusing on. I was focusing on more like makeup, subscription boxes and all that. So I never bought those scents. So I unfortunately can't compare them, but I have heard that this possibly smells a little similar to the gingerbread latte one that they had before. But how cute is the packaging? I love, especially the body cream. This is the kind of packaging that I like. I hate these boring faceted bottles. Like I want the cute designs, okay? This is what I like to see. This one has like little Santa sleigh and I love that it just looks like a little Christmas village. It's so dang cute and this whole collection will have that. I think Frosted Coconut Snowballs in this collection, also Bright Christmas Morning possibly, I think is in this one too. So these are coming out a little bit later. Now, Gingerbread Village. This one has notes of Golden Gingerbread, Vanilla Icicles, and a Yuletide Timber. <laughs> so not really the gourmand or dessert-like notes that I was hoping for. I was hoping it would be something really sweet, edible, kind of like the Fenty Beauty Butter Drop, the cinnamon one. That one does remind me of gingerbread a lot. This it's like slightly gingerbread, but then it kind of dries down to something else. I don't know how I feel. Let me go ahead and spray it. Um, I actually did pick up the Jo Malone Ginger Biscuit Perfume, and I actually feel like these smell similar. 
um, which I'll talk about that in like my Sephora VIB sale haul I think later this week but yeah I feel like these are a really nice pairing when you first spray this you do get a hint of ginger I don't know if it's necessarily a ginger red type of vibe it seems more like just straight ginger not really bakery and then it dries down kind of more sugary sweet but for some reason the dry down on this is just smelling like cozy vanilla bourbon and fireside flurries to me so I don't know it's like it smells a little bit different in the body cream I feel like the body cream's a little bit more authentic more ginger in that one this one I'm getting those two scents but I can still smell a little bit of the ginger in the background but I do feel like it is very similar to the vanilla bourbon and the fireside flurries I know everyone has their own opinions and I don't know I just don't like when people argue in the comments that just kind of you know doesn't make it fun I think we can still be nice about giving our opinions without like saying someone's wrong we all kind of smell things differently and have different tastes and that's the joy of fragrance so nobody's right nobody's wrong I just do my best to describe it as I can but it can be a little bit upsetting when people are like negative in the comments or saying that I'm wrong or something like that but I don't know that's just what I get from it it's definitely not super gourmand though it's sweet but not foodie so it's not really a true gingerbread cookie or gingerbread cake which I was hoping for but again if you did like the gingerbread latte you probably would like this one too I need to try those <laughs> maybe I should buy one off of Mercari or something but again also let me know in your in the comments if you guys have smelled this one yet and what your thoughts are if you think it's comparable to the past one do you think it smells like the other two scents I mentioned let me know I think the shower gel though this one actually has quite a bit of the sweet gingerbread though what is it with shower gels that they always are sweeter than the other things so I did end up buying this pocket bag and this is what I think that scent should have smelled like this is gingerbread bakery <laughs> and it's adorable here is the packaging I'm obsessed with everything gingerbread this year but this actually smells very foodie and this is what the scent should have been I mean this is a little bit maybe too sweet it's very syrupy in a way but this smells like a true baked good and that's what I was hoping from the gingerbread village scent okay let me share a couple quick candles that I bought because they do have a new candle collection I picked up the winter candy apple candle because I actually enjoy this one in candle form and I don't like it in body care that's why I did not pick it up I know weird you would think I would love it because it's really sweet but since this scent came out I've just never really loved it it smells like shampoo or something like that to me air freshener I don't know but I do like the candle a lot so I grabbed the winter candy apple in the candle this has notes of red apples crisp pears and candied oranges and this one I have been waiting to come out it's finally here this is crunchy English toffee and my foodie gourmand dessert type of fragrance lovers are going to love this it smells so good you guys I don't know why I'm smelling chocolate. It says sweet brown sugar, crunchy toffee, and a dash of vanilla extract. Oh my gosh, it is so good, you guys. I definitely smell some type of frosting. I get a chocolate in here too, and a little bit of a nuttiness as well. So delicious. So that is the crunchy English toffee. Highly recommend. Probably one of the best candles I've smelled so far this Christmas, um, besides like that raspberry tart one that I also bought that one was really good too so that is it for my haul and my thoughts on some of these new scents I'm excited to have a couple new things the golden berry mistletoe the gingerbread village again I want to hear what you guys think of these as well and hopefully this was helpful for you in deciding if you want to purchase or pass on these if you're an online buyer hopefully these will be available tomorrow now I do want to mention I love to do sneak peeks and this is not it for holiday there is more coming and life inside the page blogspot.com that is where I get most of my sneak peeks I'll have that in my description box if you guys want to check it out because there's tons of amazing Bath and Body Works info on there I literally just have it bookmarked all the time and check it frequently but um, her name is Tess and she listed like a full guide of some more scents coming so we're gonna click on this for body care only because I cannot cover the soaps in the candles we would be here forever some of these could be coming soon some of these could be for body care day or semi-annual sale we don't know exactly what's going where 
but we have this cute collection that has a scent called Ballet Nights. I don't have the scent notes on this, but it sounds really cute. Like this would be a fun like nutcracker theme maybe, because they also have a new scent out called Satin Slippers. I'm so curious as to what these are going to smell like. I feel like the Ballet Nights could be more like a nighttime perfume. I have no idea about the slippers one, something maybe cozy for bed, I don't know. I'm so curious. We also have um, a Meet Me in Miami coming out, which is probably going to be for a semi-annual sale kind of thing since Meet Me in Miami is not really a Christmas type of scent, so that could be something they are making for semi-annual sale. And again, these are all body care. Now, when I saw this, I literally gasped, okay? Because I don't know if you watched my last Christmas Bath & Byrx video, but I had talked about how I wish that Bath & Byrx would make pistachio and toasted vanilla in body care. And according to this list, it is actually coming in body care and I could not be more excited because this is like my dream fragrance. Like, if I had collabed with Bath & Byrx on a scent, it would be this one <laughs> because it's so good. I just hope that they do it right. I hope it has a lot of this like pistachio kind of almond vibe not too toasty because it can be a hit or a miss for sure if you guys have been wanting something more gourmand i think this is gonna be the one i i really am excited and it's so weird that i just mentioned that in my last video um i'm pretty sure i mention it every time i think i even mentioned it when i bought this set so i know they're listening i know bath and Byrx is listening to us and what we want to see another gourmand scent and this is a returning scent we are finally getting hot cocoa and cream now i don't know if they are bringing this into a full size or if they're going to do a mini again this is the little one that i have but it's such a good scent this really smells like just like straight hot chocolate mix like the powder part of it it's really so good and it's i feel like really hard to nail a chocolate scent like this in body care and they do a really good job of it without it smelling too chemically so i am very excited for this one as well i hope it is in full sizes so i can get a spray a cream a shower gel i need all the things another scent that started in a candle and is now apparently coming in body care is the perfect christmas this is actually one of my go-to Christmas candles, so I really don't know how they're going to replicate this in body care because I don't know if I would like it. I love it in the candle, but this has a strong evergreen note that I just don't, I just don't know how it's going to go with a body care like this, but I love just like the spice vibes that this gives. It has a fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, and toasted marshmallow, so I'm hoping with this one, they're really going to amp up that marshmallow and cinnamon sugar note and maybe have the pine slightly in the background. So, yeah, maybe they're not even trying to replicate this fragrance, but this is also called The Perfect Christmas, so I feel like it has to be this. So, I'm really curious about this one. I don't know if I'm going to love it or not. It's going to be different, but I'm excited to try it. I had quite a few of you guys ask me about this one, but it looks like fresh sparkling snow is coming back. I don't know if it will be an online exclusive or if it will be in stores as well, but a lot of you guys asked about that one. It used to be one that they did quite a bit, but now it's just kind of randomly here and there, but it's a very light kind of fruity kind of fragrance for Christmas. It's not personally my favorite. We also have Frozen Lake, which I'm pretty sure has been a candle as well. I'm pretty sure this one smells... A little cologne like so I'm curious to see what that's going to be we have winter berry ice spice citrus grove and then tis the season <laughs> which is another really popular candle and this one is like pure uh, spice like Christmas holiday spice like walking into Michael's um, during the Christmas time or Hobby Lobby so that's going to be interesting as well to see how they do like this super Christmas spicy type of scent if it's going to be too overpowering. It looks like crisp morning air is coming which we've definitely had that one I think a couple of fall times ago. This one sounds like it's a semi-annual sale one as well as carried away. Carried away. I feel like that one that they had years ago. I'm going to insert some photos of these, but I don't even remember what that smells like, but I'm sure a lot of you guys will be excited to see that one back. That sounds like a semi-annual sale. Like, are they actually bringing us back retired scents that we've been asking for instead of cucumber melon? <laughs> like, 
<laughs> Maybe that's what's happening here. We also have Limoncello. I don't think we've had that in body care yet. Lovely Dreamer. I remember this scent and it was good. Like I don't know how to describe it because this was years ago, but Lovely Dreamer they had out for one year and it was a very pretty scent. Like this was probably been like five years or more ago. So I'm excited about that as well as Laundry Day. Uh, I do have the candle of this one. I'll insert a photo, but I mean this could easily be a repackage of white t-shirt or like beachfront blanket. Uh, it just smells like fresh laundry. So I'm curious to see if that's going to be a repackage. Um, linen and lavender and then sugared lemon zest as well for body care but that's pretty much it for some new scents coming so if you're kind of missing something it doesn't sound like wrapped in vanilla is coming back which kind of makes me want to cry so this pistachio and toasted vanilla better be really good to make up for that because yeah I'm really gonna miss not having that scent back it was such a good vanilla I'm trying to think what else that I'm missing. I'm excited about this lineup. I'm excited to see how they do some of these classic candles coming into body care. They usually do a pretty good job, I would say. But yeah, if you're wanting some new stuff, here it is. This is the new stuff coming because I know this first round of Christmas has just been kind of like same old, same old. Our favorites are back, but now we're ready to try some new things. And you know, it's about to be the really good time of year with all the sales, body care day, semi-annual sale, even their Black Friday sale is really good and I can't wait. It's the best time. I know, I think last year I feel like I did a Bath & Body Works video almost weekly, but I'll try to keep you guys updated. Anyways, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.